Watch. He don't want just you to pray. He wants you to be watchful also. Watch. Who are we going to watch? One another? The devil. And ourselves. Watch the devil and watch your own self. That's right. You know what he said? Let your word be how many you want. You. And what those few should be? Season with grace. Season with grace. And he said, we was talking about studying last week. It's one thing the Bible says. Uh, it's more than one thing. But there's a thing the Bible says. Study to do what? Show yourself approved. A workman of the God. Not but there's also another, another study. Study to be quiet. Study to be quiet. Study to be quiet. That means work on this thing that can cause you to be disobedient to the word of God. Amen. As the Elder Shambach said one time, people come up here and want to get on the altar. He said, I'm going to take your old long tongue and lay it across the altar. Amen. And pray for it till the devil come out of it. Amen. 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 Your tongue can get you in a lot of trouble. Yes, it can. That's why I said, let them be seasoned. Think before you put your car into drive. Right. Amen. Think before you put your mouth in drive. Amen. 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 All right, talk to me. Amen. 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 Quite quiet and dry, the Bible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the Bible says? A tongue is a little number. But it can set your body, the whole body, on fire. Right. Well, I'm saying that because we, we ain't just nature, it's you. Because you started something. Right. <laughs> Understand it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what the book says? Amen. That's right. As big as a big old ship is. That's right. All the way out to Wentworth. Some of them half a mile. Where, where down there? Mm -hmm. Look back there. What's what? What's what's guiding the ship? Mm -hmm. A little bit of helmet back there. Mm -hmm. It's guiding that big old ship. Mm -hmm. That little old tongue can guide your whole life. It just got quiet in the tongue and the light department. <laughs> what he say, Matthew? I know I did a lot of talking, but it's time to talk, amen. amen. It's time to talk. It's time to teach. Amen. To teach God's people. Yes, we got to make it, amen. amen. Because whether the man is right or not, and we prove it, find out that he's not. But there's one thing I sure Jesus is coming. Amen. He is coming. Like you say, two shall be at the mill, one will be left, and one will be taken. Well, I got news for you. Two will be in church, one will be taken, and one will be left. Somebody say he's talking about me. Tell the devil he's a liar. You just don't be left, amen. If you be left, I'm talking about you. You understand, amen. Don't be so quick to apply something, amen. Because uh, if it don't fit you, they say, shoe don't fit you, don't wear it. Shoe right. too tight. Well, take it off. Amen. Yeah. Tell me what it is. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew, Matthew 26 to 41. Tell me what it say. Watch and pray that you enter not what? Into temptation. The spirit is willing. Who is your enemy? I say, who is your enemy? Who does the devil work with? Our flesh. He works with your mind and your flesh. Talk to me now. See, he works with the mind, and the mind deals with the flesh. That's why he say to be carnal minded. To be have a carnal mind. Because your carnal mind is eventually going to come to this flesh, amen. amen. You can't sit and watch stuff on the TV and watch stuff and different things and expect flesh to stay in order, amen. 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 Y'all don't want to say nothing. Amen. When we was going to the show, I haven't been to the show in 30 years, amen. I'm talking about the movie house. Might have been longer than that. But when we used to go to the movie house, you show in a movie. <laughs> 
Amen. What they would do is <laughs> do it somewhere close to intermission on the screen they would flash popcorn right. and a soda cream. Right. A million of you see people getting up going. Right. They had put something in their mind. Right, right. Amen. Influence the man. Come on. Amen. All of a sudden everybody wants some popcorn. Right. Because a flicker had been put in their mind. Right. And that's what the world do. They flicker things at you. True. Come on now. It don't take but a split second to flick it at you. Oh, they doing it. So when I saw the woman today, I walked up, me and my daughter, I'm standing up there and her bosom all open and everything. I, what am I supposed to do? Stand up there and look at it? No, I turn no, around and take care of that. That's right. That's right. And I need to be standing there. Right. Looking at it. What am I standing there looking at the woman's chest for? That's right. Because if I look, the devil going to start talking, amen. Right. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Preacher, you mean he'll talk to you? He talked to Jesus, didn't he? All right. Come on now. Nobody no exception. Y'all hear it? Amen. So why don't I let him talk to me? That's right. I just get on out the way. Get out the way. Baby, you take care of that. Give him no satisfaction. Come on now. And that's the way to do that. That's right. If your right eye is big, you cut it off, baby. Amen. Amen. That's right. True. You're in the book. Nobody said, not danger. That was her moves, amen. In my eyes, see them, amen. Right, right. Come on, preacher. All right, Bishop. So I cut them off by moving out the way. Y'all don't want to say nothing. Y'all, I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a God man. Yeah, that's a move, too. You want to stay a God man. You want to stay a God man? Get away from the move. Amen. Amen. You understand, amen? Because Satan wants to shoot something at your mind. That's right. right. Not just at what you're looking at. He'll put something on your mind. Oh, that's why. To deal with in a later situation. Oh, that's why. Amen. That's how you work. Like the seed. Amen. He planted that seed in there. Amen. Talk to me, sister. Tell me what they say. I got a question. Talk to me. Okay, now you go out in public and see this. But sometimes when you round your relatives, they got, I mean, they got it like, it's, I mean, same, it's almost like they don't have nothing on. What do the, I mean, even though that might be your relative, Still. can you please give the appropriate way you're supposed to do when your relatives got all that out? Just let, like me, that. Let, me, let me tell you something. Whether it's relative, a boo is a boo. Right. <laughs> it is, that's right. It is what it is. That's right. Now listen at this. Not that you're going to do nothing or thinking nothing about that boo. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the devil put it in the boo family. Right. Right. <laughs> now, don't, don't y'all get mad at me. I'm not trying to. No. I'm not trying to. Let him do that. He wants you to think on not that one, but the boo family. The boo family. I'm trying to put that nice as I can. Right, right. Okay. That's what it does. You right. You understand? So he gonna deal with that. It's like a rapist. A rapist don't start for raping people just because he saw somebody. Right. That's been in his mind and it's working. That's right. But it started somewhere. Mm -hmm. A seed was planted somewhere. Mm -hmm. He don't want to rape where the seed was. Mm -hmm. He's gonna rape where the seed has grown. So what Satan does is plants a seed in your mind. I don't care if it's your sister, right. uncle. No female should be walking around naked and ask the truth. Don't let your little boys change babies' diapers and it's a girl. Amen. Amen. I get away from my, if they like that, yeah, I get away from them. As much as I can, amen. Right. Because that's inappropriate. Yes, it is. What you are saying to me is you do not respect me right. Right. enough of who I am. Amen. As uh when I went to court today, and uh, you know they you know now they give you a scam. Right. And uh, I guess I had my belt on because when you go to court out, out west, they make you take your belt off. Amen. So I told the man, I said, man, my belt holds up my pants. What, what am I supposed to do? He said, Well, <laughs> But what I'm saying is, you're supposed to make people respect you by, by, by your actions. You cause them to respect you by your very actions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That doesn't got quiet. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on now. 